All right, guys. I just want to make a quick video um, to show off what I was doing uh, last night, uh, and it actually carried into the wee hours of this morning. Um, basically, I decided to try my hand at a speed code of the game of life. Um, speed code, so the code isn't that great. It's pretty sloppy. Um, two main classes: the cell and the uh, state. Um, so. I can change the size of the cell right here. I'm gonna change it to 16 pixels by 16 pixels. And um, so, without the, without further ado, I guess let's get into it. Yeah, those are just warnings. Yeah. Comparison between signed and unsigned. But um, so if it starts out paused, and when you press any key, it will unpause it, except R, because R resets everything. So. Basically, I can put as many of these things on as I want down, and then when I press R, it'll undo them. <coughs> but anyways, so, I can just put, um, there, something like this down, and put th this, oops, that didn't work well. Yay, see, just add things and it does that. Cool. But anyways. So it's real simple. Um, there is a logical glitch in it. Um, I just really don't want to go back and fix it. Um, it's a simple logical glitch. It's like it's nothing major. Um, but I guess I'll show you kind of what it is. Basically, um, here I'll make a little comment right here. So basically, if I, I'm not going to go through the rules of the game, game of life. If you don't know them, you can go Google them. But basically, it has to deal with neighbors. Oh, well, I guess I should use that term very loosely. But So if this is the cell that I'm currently checking, then these are all its possible neighbors. Right? All, everything around it. So basically what I do is I loop through every cell and... First, I check to see. I check the ones that are activated, and if it's activated, I'm gonna go through all these, all these neighbors with another for loop, which is right here. Well, n is less than nine because there's a total of nine right here. And then when I get when I'm on this, uh, when I'm checking. Okay, this is hard to explain. But this is the cell I'm working on. Let's just say that. And uh, <coughs> when it's looping through, it's going to check this cell. So I don't want to check, I don't want to declare the cell a neighbor of itself, pretty much. So I have checks to make sure that doesn't happen. But the problem is, is when this cell that I'm checking is in a... Uh, somewhere where all these eight neighbors don't exist like up in a corner or against a side so like if it was if this was all the way against the side then it would it would still check for these and still perform the equation to find it basically all it does is it finds an index offset because I have an a vector that holds all the cells and uh, it finds an offset from that index so basically I just add that index to the offset to find which uh, cell is actually the neighbor um, so <coughs> the problem is uh, so the equation looks something like this offset equals I find the y offset right here but it's relative to uh, the one you're the cell you're working on and since it's all around I have to minus one right there and then this is just the X relative to the um, to the cell you're working on um, and then since it's in a single dimensional array I have to multiply by the, the length and the length is just uh, how many cells are in a width of the screen and I find that right here by getting the width of the screen and then dividing it by the width of a cell. 
So it's really simple. So that's just kind of like a logical error that I don't care about. It's it's not really hard to fix. It's not something that's like <coughs> like it's not something so huge that I really care about it basically. So uh that's I just want to show you this. I mean, it's just something I was kind of working on. Um yeah, see, you just saw the logical error in action that shouldn't have blown up like that. And actually, I guess I'll show you what that should do. Just so you see a good working version. So, if you go to Google, type in Game of Life. Down here, you'll find this BitStorm link. And it's written in Java. There's a, a web uh, application one. And uh, there's also one you can download. So I do this can choose how fast it goes, start, and it should do that. But the problem is, uh, my cells are pretty big and my screen's smaller, and it hits the bottom, and then when it's checking outside, then things go all crazy. I just need to go in and add checks, but I just really don't feel like doing that. I mean, who wants to do that? It's just boring. Um, so I'm going to go back to working on the audio editor. So, um, that was just a quick video I just wanted to make. Uh, so, I just want to say Merry Christmas. I'm not going to go with that political stuff where you have to say Happy Holidays. It's Merry Christmas. So, um, yeah. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.